We're in the eight-kilometer stadium here in Baku, a newly erected stadium opened only in August, and Top Top Girl is here to see a match between Asia and Africa. The Japanese support here, they've seen some sumptuous performances from their team already, but they should have their sternest test so far tonight against the African nation of Ghana, who have made it to the quarterfinals for the first time in their history. Still no chances created as yet in the game, which is something very new for the Japanese. There may be a chance here for Ghana, and this is where the danger exists. And it was on the left foot for Ayam. Not enough to trouble uh, Chika Hirao in the goal. There's been no hint of a goal in this game as yet, but uh, there could be for Ghana here with a long-range try! And it's tipped over the top, and it's almost the first save that Hirao has had to make in the entire tournament. Japan have one player almost on the goal line, three more inside the area. It comes all the way through, and it's the first real chance of the game. It fell to Norimatsu. Six minutes left for either side to make a breakthrough in this half as Inouye gets it through, and the keeper makes a sprawling stop. It was a decent opportunity, which fell to Masuya. And that's the captain, Narumiya, who's had no chances at all this evening. Now away goes Jane Ayam. She's got support on the right as well. It's Somalia. Is this her moment for Ghana to cherish? It is. It's gone in. It's gone through the goalkeeper's legs. The goal will be credited to Sherry Fatu Sumala. And at long, long last, the Japanese rear guard is broken. They had set a record by not conceding a goal for more than 350 minutes. But this one has gone straight through the goalkeeper's legs. And it's Japan nil, Ghana one. 20 minutes exactly left for Japan to rescue this situation and to book themselves a place in the semi-final against France. Oh, it's a lovely turn and a good shot too, and it whistles by, and that's summing up Japan's fortunes at the moment. It's wide of the mark, just. Japan's last hope. They're in there! Oh, what a save! What a save! It was almost the most dramatic of finishes, but the Japanese have gone. Their heads are bowed. The Ghanaians sprint onto the field in the eight-kilometre stadium. They can barely believe what they've done. The goalkeeper is injured in the process. That matters not for the moment, because the single goal struck in the second half by Sherifatu Sumaila, a shot that crept through the goalkeeper's legs, has won Ghana a place in the semi-finals for the first time in their history.